Hello everybody, welcome to the Big Cat Sanctuary once again. We're here uh, with Harry behind the camera. Say hello, Harry. Good morning. Hello everybody out there. Thank you to everyone uh, for supporting the Big Cat Sanctuary. We want to show you some exciting news of uh, work that's happening here. We are starting on this building behind us, which is going to be known as the Ark Building. Uh, it's also going to be in memory of John Lewis, our vet that we lost uh, so sadly last year as well. Uh, so we're just putting in the framework, we're just putting in the groundwork on there and then we want to raise some funds to get a brand new vet room, uh, meeting rooms up there, lots of training and stuff that we can carry on with that. So very exciting uh, new building that's happening here at the Big Cat Sanctuary. So we wanted to show you that first, but today of course we are going to go and see our fantastic tigers. Well, two of them here with us, Bacal and Amazia. So Harry, shall we have a wander and go and see those guys? Really exciting to have a uh, new building going on. We'll, uh, we'll update you with all the plans and what the building's going to be used for. But it's uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an amazing space where we're going to be able to do medical procedures and give us our care. But also the keeper team are going to have sort of brand new facilities for preparing the meat and the food and doing everything they need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to uh, help care for our cats here. So speaking of which, I can see a little willow following us over there, Harry. Interested. <laughs> Cats here, obviously, we are still closed at the moment, so uh, buckets become very interesting to cats normally, uh, but uh, I think at the moment they're missing you guys out there uh, being here on your experiences and safari stays. So uh, extra exciting for them when they see a bucket coming around because they don't normally get to see one uh, with little sort of chicken bits for hand feeds in here. So that's the treat we have got for our two fabulous cats um, that we're going to go and see today. So the first up is Bacal. Uh, well, actually, Amazie and Bacal both here taking interest. Harry, you can just see them. Amazie over there having a little wander up and down. Bacal's at the back. Here he is. Just popping his head through now. Who are we going to see first, James? We're going to go and pop and say hello to Bacal, our white tiger. Obviously, again, thank you to everyone who uh, sent us so many notes of condolences about Narnia. Um, we're still reeling from that, obviously, here. Uh, amazingly sad news, but, uh, but we have Bacal here, another white tiger, obviously. We have the Paradise Wildlife Park, for those of you doing up there. Favourite up there for hand feeds, and uh, still a favourite down here. He's staying with us now. There he is, oh boy. Very excited to uh, to get a bit of a hand feed. Like I say, it's been a while for a lot of these guys. The cow amazing. So a white tiger like Narnia as well uh, was. So uh, that's a recessive, recessive gene. So it's, it's switched off his orange. Um, so you don't see these guys out in the wild. Uh, Bengal stock, we'll find them. Uh, but then when they're born, that, that sort of, destroys their camouflage, even though sort of you know, a prey we'll see in black and white, but it makes it so stand out uh, in the jungle out there that they uh, they wouldn't survive out there. So they generally tend to get collected uh, by mum, uh, left around, so you don't see those out, out in the wild. The last one saw in the wild and caught in the 50s uh, cub uh, that was then taken back and bred and bred and bred and bred and bred to get more white tigers. So we pretty much think that all the white tigers now in captivity and wherever they are in the world will come from that one tiger. Uh, that was found out in the wild. So we're lucky to have this boy with his Elvis impressions and a very hungry boy of that, I think. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna not let him wait. We're gonna give him a bit of chicken. So hand feeds, it is, is a really good thing. So we still do them every now and then here because obviously it's, it's part of the health check as well. So uh, with us, it's not only a nice treat for the tiger, or well, this is like a little biscuit for him compared to what he'll normally get, but you'll see he's doing it very well. You're getting up, you can see and when we do that for him and lift him up, you can see under his belly, we can check in his mouth also. The cow will open his mouth nice and wide. Here we go, buddy. There you go. And that also allows us to have a little look inside that mouth and check with his teeth and just check inside for any, any sort of gum things or tongues or anything else like that. But also, obviously, you don't often get to see the underside of a tiger like that. So uh, it gives us a really nice chance for keepers and us to just check on him. And also the fact that he can literally, here you go, boy get up like this means healthy and happy he's uh 
yeah, he's got the strength in his legs and he's, uh, you know, not suffering from arthritis, which happens to a lot of tigers as they get, well, big cats in general, as they get old. So there we go. Hello, boy. Bacal's nature is fantastic. He chats and chuffs. Uh, he's come from paradise, so he's used to have lots of people around. So he's very friendly for rubbing him up. Hello, boy. You want some more? We've got one more for you. Here we go. Are you ready? Very good, boy. Good luck. Let us know in the comment section if you're enjoying it today, James and I. We're, we're braving the weather to bring this, this live to you today, aren't we, James? Yeah, it's not the best weather out here, but hey, we know you guys want to see our lovely cats. So, And there's one thing that we do. If you've been here, you would have seen it. So the cows have three pieces there. So we now just let them know with a sign like this that there's no more coming his way. He's a good boy. He knows that. So he'll then settle down a little bit more. He's one of our... Uh, cats that will quite happily now just sort of sit sit here and just sort of uh, relax now. He knows he's had some food and uh, we're just sort of chatting with him. What do you think, Bacal? What do you think, eh? There you go. <laughs> he's doing his Elvis impression for us. He's getting a little lip on there. Often find the cow when we walk past James rolling around in the on the ground, aren't we? He's a he's a very happy boy. Yeah, he's happy, playful. Uh, like I say, he's also it's a bit like you know a lot of the guys at Sanga used to do it, and Nani was the same. They sort of they they you know they come from places where they're used to people being around, and sort of so, so it generally has this more relaxed uh, you know sort of nature to them, chatting away. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. So you see, look, happily just sitting here now, whilst we're uh, chatting away to him. Have a little quick, little, little look at that beautiful face. <laughs> but also... Did you see Amazia in the background over there? Yeah, there she is. Now, Amazia are very different um, in terms of nature. Female Amur tiger. It's funny, you see the, the same sort of markings underneath her. Uh, so she's in the Russian forest, so that's in, in the snow. She's got a lot of fur and protection underneath there. Very different from the Sumatrans that we'll see with their darker markings are slightly thinner. <laughs> it's a good chat, the cow. Thank you, buddy. Good to hear from you. Should we go and see Amazia now? Okay? That's it. We've got no more for you, but thank you, buddy. Thank you. Good. <laughs> he is a lovely boy. Very kind natured. Thanks, the cow. And one of the most popular cats on hand feeds, isn't he, James? Absolutely. I have to say, well, when you've got him natured like that and just happy to come up to you and uh, very eager and keen to get some food from you it's a great experience and he's actually you saw him opening his mouth quite wide like that um that is something that the guys up at paradise have tra uh, trained him to do we, we've seen before on videos that we've done the positive reinforcement training that um the keepers here do and they do the same at paradise obviously um and that uh, you know, just opening that mouth as wide as that uh, allows us to see a little bit more inside so we can give him a good check. It is absolutely pouring here, ladies and gentlemen, so we apologise. We're uh, just going to go in now and see Amazia quickly. We might make this uh, one of the quicker videos. Yeah. So much. And we'll see if Amazia is willing to come out and get some chicken for us. Amazia, here she is. A beautiful tigress, ladies and gents. A little bit feistier than Bacal, a little bit more vocal. So we may end up with a bit of a pouring rain tiger tiger talk here. Here we go. Are oh, you ready? Here we go, Mason. There you go, sweetheart. All yours. Well done. You see a little bit more vocal, a little bit more feisty than, than Bacal. Excuse us while we wipe the rain out of our hair. <laughs> She's quite happy though. You see, again, you see, with the cow and you know, Amazia, the same obviously stripes and markings, so uh, it's just that genetic thing that switched off the orange that she has. You want another one, sweetheart? Okay. All right, come on, there. here we go. Up you get. Good girl, there we go. Very gentle still, so happy to take. You may find at the end, what we tend to see with Amazia, she may not do it this time, um, but she tends to be a bit grumpier when, uh, when we've finished feeding. She sometimes uh, tends to tell us off. Here we go. Okay, one more for you, Amazia. Are you ready? Here we go, sweetheart. Good girl. Good girl. 
still a really, really fascinating character with, with, with Amazia in terms of the keepers have uh, sometimes some fun getting her indoors. She will hide and she will stick her head up above the, above the, the rocks and uh, see us what, what we want to do. But uh, really, really a, a, a lovely cat. Now, I think the rain is sort of defeating us here a little bit, ladies and gents. Uh, I oh, hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to say goodbye to Amazia in a minute and she'll probably say goodbye in a very Cespicadwellian uh, way in Tiger. She's going to use a lot of syllables, uh, possibly when she when she says goodbye, but we'll see. Uh, let's uh, just give her the sign that we're, we're going away. Amazia? Oh, she's gone anyway. That's it, too hot. Done, we're done. She's a good girl, good girl. I know. I know. Good girl. We're going to go now, so don't worry. There you go. Thanks, Amazia. <laughs> okay. She doesn't like long goodbyes. <laughs> we'll come out. Thanks, Harry. So there we go. Just a quick one today, ladies and gents. I hope you'll forgive us. It is a little bit pouring out here. Uh, the cats are happy though, they've had a bit of food. You just see uh, Maisie and the cow there. Just uh, maybe... I can't, I can't zoom, zoom in because the, the phone's so wet. <laughs> it's so wet. <laughs> if you can't see it, that's just them talking about what they had for breakfast, a little bit of chicken over here. So we are going to say goodbye, ladies and gents. It is a, a beautiful, gorgeously wet day here at the Big Cat Sanctuary. We hope to see you here very, very soon. April 12th is one of the, the key dates, obviously, when we've got hopefully the lodges and the experiences coming back. So if you're booked for us after that date, then oh, we're so glad to see you guys here. Um, and please be patient if you're still trying to look at changing your booking around uh, the guys will be in touch with you and uh, we'll sort that out and you can come here uh, but also you know book, book next year uh, if you can uh, come come and see us but get something to look forward to and some other key dates so we are looking at now and in may uh, just before the open days we are going to have some members days the 30th and the 31st of may look out for those dates coming out on the website sometime soon and you'll be able to book uh, if you are a member. Uh, so you'll be able to come uh, here for a day where we're doing a little bit of a talk about what's going on, art building, everything else that's new that's happening here uh, since you guys have been away. So look out for that uh, and become a member if you want to be part of those days as well. So it's the best way to support the sanctuary, to be honest with you, a monthly payment that will just keep us going, uh, keep the funds coming in to keep feeding our animals and keep us doing new improvements here but also crucially funding conservation work out in the wild. So become a member, find out all about those. That's the only way you're gonna find out when those dates get released so, uh, and for sale, because uh, they'll be directly out to our members. So <laughs> without further ado, goodbye from a wet and windy Big Cat Sanctuary. We will see you here next week, ladies and gents, but thanks for coming and thanks for all you do.